Okay, let's talk about victimless crimes for a moment. There are a lot of things that people can do that don't hurt anyone, but are illegal. And these are things that genuinely do not hurt anyone, nor neither literally nor figuratively. They hurt nobody, but they're still illegal. And they've been pushed through, and they've been legal for a long time, and they haven't been deemed unconstitutional. Okay. Take that into consideration first. And now let's look at online bullying, online harassment. Let's look at that for a moment. Do you honestly think that laws are not eventually going to get made that make online bullying and harassment illegal? You really think that's not going to happen? Do some of you think that uh, cigarettes aren't eventually going to be made illegal? Well, with the cigarettes thing, some of the people that are at the forefront of being why they're made illegal are types of people who will stand in the doorway to a business like a grocery store and puff away on their cigarettes. Okay, those types of people. The types of people who will puff away while in a drive through while going through the drive through uh, at a fast food place. Right. And the types of people who are going to eventually be why bullying and harassment will eventually be, be made illegal is because of these people that, that say the most foul things and then put up their hand and say freedom of speech. Those are the people that are going to be responsible for this. Okay. Just as I said earlier, you may not have direct control of other people, but if you have a certain amount of power on the internet because of popularity or just how much your the things you say eventually get seen, then... you need to be more aware of the ramifications of what you say as far as how people are going to react to it. I mean, if you're not putting any thought into how something will be reacted to, and you no longer even care about that, um, you can't sit there and play stupid. Oh, I never would. Oh, I never would have expected. Yeah, you would have. And that's what a lot of people are, a game that a lot of people are playing here. Oh, well, nothing will ever get done about that. Uh, these these laws, we're not going to have any laws. Uh, we probably will in the future. And it will be your fault. When I say your, I mean the people that are just bullying and being nasty for the sake of being nasty where you think there's never going to be any significant repercussions, yet you are the ones behind what the future will bring when it comes to laws. And I would personally like that not to have to happen. Just like, I don't want to see there, there be, uh, you know, laws that say you can't smoke cigarettes. I may hate cigarettes, but I don't want to see them be made illegal, no matter how nice it might seem for me I know how miserable it would be for many others. I don't want laws to come into place that can prosecute people for things they've said online. I'd really rather not have that. But we can see this stuff coming up as it is. We can already see this, these, these wheels in action. And if your reaction to that is to um, 
to get even nastier? Yeah, you're hastening the process of making that stuff illegal. Where you actually will lose your freedom of speech. And it will be done in such a way that they can't, that, that, they could take it to court and it won't violate the Constitution nor its amendments. They will find a way. So how about being decent? And how about saying something when you see really fucked up shit? And maybe if it's not directly to them, to at least talk about it a little bit where you're saying, yeah, these kind of things people are saying really sucks. These things suck. I don't, I don't agree with what they're, they're doing. I don't agree with what they're saying. The internet has a bully culture. And that culture... I'm just I'm trying to think to myself, how can I word this to... A lot of the feminists talk about there being a rape culture, but it's unsubstantiated. When it comes to the bully culture on the internet, it's quite substantiated. And I'm trying to figure out a way of wording that to say something a little more significant, but I'm sure you can think about that and just realize yourself, so... Um, as I've said before, if you abuse the rights you have, they will eventually be taken away. And it seems that our sense of rebellion against uh, social standards, it seems so many people's rebellion where it used to go into things that were actually creative, now go into, well, what's, the, what's a new way that I can bully and make someone feel like shit? And that's a sad state of affairs when that's what people are wasting their creativity on. Sad. Pathetic. Pathetic. 